Hey Cancer, so as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Or Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for all Cancer placements, okay? So Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, or North Node, it really doesn't matter, love. If you in any way at all identify as a Cancer, then this reading is for Jewel, all right? Cancer, let us go ahead and jump straight into the reading, loves. So let us see what the messages are that Spirit has here for Jewel. <clears throat> on today trying to heal from a broken heart some of you okay hmm take what things resonate with you leave what things do not <clears throat> let us see cancer okay we have indecision here anxiety okay so you're in your mind thinking about something something you know is coming it hasn't happened yet Okay, it's throwing your energy out of whack here with the yin yang in reverse. Okay, um, spirit is trying to guide you to what it is that you need to do or how it is that you need to handle this situation. All right, let us see what you're going to choose to do here. Okay, because you right now feel a little bit indecisive, not really sure. Okay, hmm, <clears throat> you know that you want to be happy though. Okay, and you know that you need to heal. So I'm guessing the environment that you're in right now is not allowing for you to do this. You've asked spirit about it. Spirit is answering you right here and now. So if some of you are wondering, should I choose a new path with that indecision card? Yes, you should. Okay, absolutely. Let us see here. Yeah, suffering in silence, pre-shuffle. Okay, not able to transform, not able to have this rebirth the way that you want to have this rebirth because the environment that you're in, the people that you're around, see solitude. So there's a need for you to choose a new path here, Cancer, okay? It might require you to be patient, to get a plan in order or together. There might be a separation taking place here. You get what I'm saying, okay? Um, definitely somebody moving on, moving forward in their life, okay? Even if it means having to leave somebody behind. All right. Yeah, we have harmony here. So this could be your divine counterpart. OK, but there's a separation for sure coming up. You know it. You feel it. OK, because something's not quite right. OK, here in this situation, um, like I said, maybe somebody's not being one thousand percent truthful with you about something with this ace of swords in reverse. OK, but spirit has already put you on to what you need to know. Um, like I said, some of you have asked spirits to reveal something to you, so it's being revealed, or it already has, okay, whichever way it goes. But you know that you're going to choose yourself, similar to um, what I was telling Gemini yesterday. You know you're going to choose yourself at the end of the day, all right, as opposed to someone who's mistreating you or who's dishonest with you. Yes, your willpower, your self-confidence, okay, self-esteem, all of that on fleek, on point. The only thing that could be... Um, causing you some sort of indecision or concern are you stable on your own are you going to be stable on your own trying to figure out how you're going to do that how you're going to manifest the money that it is you need to be able to go where it is you feel guided to go right now which is alone by yourself okay <clears throat> all right let us see for our cancers thank you spirit we have wisdom yeah so being divinely guided somewhere okay for some of you, it might be, um, <laughs> it's for some of you, not for all of you, but for some of you, you might be leaving one situation going towards something else, okay? You might be feeling pulled to go towards your divine counterparts, okay? That, that part was not for all of you, but for some of you, it's definitely because of the environment that you're in right now, okay? It's not the best, okay? Okay, yeah, and once again, it's just coming out like this. Somebody was not honest with you about something. You can't stop thinking about it now because you know the truth. But like it says here, new beginnings in reverse, you're just not 1,000% sure if you're going to be able to do this um, because like I said, for a lot of you, this means leaving somebody in your past, leaving a relationship in your past. But Spirit is saying that you're going to be all right. And not only are you going to be all right with accelerated motion here, the progress and things that is going to take place in your life is going to take place very quickly. Okay. All right. Let us see here. Yeah. All right. So we have the three of pentacles. So brand new opportunities or a brand new job coming in here. 
okay for some of you who may be applied for this new position or something like i said you're manifesting the things that you need okay so the energy you're sending out into the universe the things you're praying about spirit is going to deliver and bring back to you because some of you have faced your uncomfortable truth about something here with this shadow all right and once again you you wish to and your desire is to restore balance into your life again okay so let us see <clears throat> for our cancers thank you spirit what are the messages for cancer all right thank you spirit. the knight of pentacles in reverse so yeah the need to get a plan together all right not knowing how you can stand up for yourself right now or how you can fend for yourself right now yeah ten of pentacles in reverse okay how will you be able to feed yourself? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How will you be able to do what it is you need to do? Yeah, we got the Queen of Cups here. So this is you. But once again, Spirit is saying trust your intuition. Trust what it is that Spirit is telling you. Trust what it is that's already been revealed to you with the High Priestess in reverse. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Spirit is already telling you what's keeping you stuck here with the Ace of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. All right. And what you can do to get your wish fulfillment, your heart's desires. Okay cancer seven of pentacles here all right so you already know what to invest yourself into and what not to invest yourself into there's no confusion or uncertainty about that by any means hence why we have that anxious energy because you know something is going to have to happen period you get what i'm saying we have the king of pentacles here first outcome all right king of pentacles coming out with the world card okay so once again as soon as you get the money that you need you're moving right at this moment in time with the eight of cups in reverse the five of cups in reverse some of you are not able to withdraw fully you want to okay ten of swords in reverse exactly you want this situation to be done and over with already you want this to be something in your past already you get what i'm saying um for those of you if this is a divine counterpart like i've been saying in a lot of my twin flame readings a lot of people have just made that decision to move on to be you know um by themselves or to um no get to know other people you get what i'm saying like why keep doing the same thing over and over again and, and not getting a different result you get what I'm saying? And that's just what some people are being guided to do by spirit. Like I always say, not every twin flame couple is going to come into union this lifetime. So to sit there and try to make something happen where you see it's not happening or to force a situation and is not making you happy or the other person happy is just crazy. You get what I'm saying? So I feel like this could have something to do with that as well. All right. But we have here. The temperance energy in reverse, the two of cups. Okay, so it could be right person, wrong time, something like that too. You get what I'm saying? Um, with the queen of wands in reverse, something could be being done here. Okay, you know that. It could be somebody from their past. Okay, perhaps that's really having a hard time letting go here. Okay, so ultimately what it boils down to is you have to choose yourself. Okay, like I said earlier, some of you might have Gemini placements because I was definitely telling them that. All right, but I feel like this person makes you happy. You you make them happy. All right. However, like I said, right person, wrong time, or something like that. All right. You cannot grow in the environment. It's something like that. We have an emperor here in reverse. So this is a divine counterpart, but maybe not your divine counterpart. Or like I said, some somebody just chose not to deal with their counterpart this time around. You know, maybe the situation is too toxic. All right. It is what it is. Maybe they allow other people to remain involved in the connection. You know, I don't, I don't really know what's going on here, but it's something along those lines. All right. So let us see. We had a star card. Yeah. So answer prayers, divine favor, star card and the sun card. You get what I'm saying? This is beautiful. Universal gifts and blessings being received. Six of Pentacles. So as long as you get from around whatever or whomever is disturbing your peace and preventing you from moving forward in the direction of abundance and all of your heart's desires here. Spirit is trying to guide you into the direction where you will be able to manifest your heart's desires. All right. Like I said earlier, um, and stable situation potentially elsewhere in the future later on down the line. You get what I'm saying? But this is not the end all be all for somebody. They know that and they're about to make whatever moves are necessary. Okay. So if this was your reading um, or you enjoyed it, it helped you in some way, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hair